Hello and welcome to a new tutorial um, on 3ds Max. Today we're going to be doing some work on some text. So just in case you wanted some 3D text which is animated, we're going to do that here for you today. So what you do when you're in 3, 3ds Max, this is 2013 but I'm sure it applies to uh, down to 2009. What you do, just go to um, you go to the shapes little button on the, on the right hand side there click that and then a few buttons down you'll find the text then down in the parameters down here you will see the text where you have to put in your text so you can put in any text you want uh, let's type in I don't know test or something I don't know or just leave it we'll just leave it as max text at the moment or just change it to let me change it against the grain yeah so we've got against the grain there and I think that size there is a bit too big so bring it down to about 500 millimeters and uh, just click anywhere in where you want it on the grid and you'll get it there that's against the grain I want it standing up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the E button and then the rotation tool comes up and at the moment it's coming up but I don't like the way it's coming up in um, ones I want it kind of to come up to 90 degrees dead on so I'll press the A while I'm doing this the A button and you can see that it's coming up in increments of five right so that's how I want it now I'm going to press Alt W now to maximize this screen because all I need is this screen at the moment right click and um, I'm going to convert to editable poly you don't really need to do that but I kind of do that anyway uh, just in case I wanted to make some additional changes to it actually no I'm not going to do that yet let me control Z that so you can just press control Z and change that because I want to change the um, the font so what you do is just go through the fonts first see what kind of font you want uh just go through them but mind you some of the font takes up more memory than the others so be careful with the fonts can you see the steps in the interpolation yeah see the steps here is six that's okay but some of them can go high and you can hear your cpu working crazy so bear that in mind when you're actually um choosing text okay we'll leave it on this one here this is fine for uh, instructions so now you will go into your modify section which we are we should be in there now and in the modify section you can just simply press extrude and that will give you the extrusion down here will be the segments and the amount you can just extrude it by the amount like that but we're not going to use extrude today we're going to use bevel so just trash that there's a little trash button there put it in there and we're going to go to the bevel command there now with the bevel you got I think it's about three levels look one two three levels level one gives us a decent height put a decent height on there like that uh, let me just scroll in a bit so you can see that a bit more right and now um, level two will give you the actual bevel which we need just that kind of little extra bit that you need you can put a little height on it it's a little tiny bit of height and then outline would be a minus so you got that nice little kind of font looking, looking bevel and that looks okay good don't like the color so I press M and I will change the color at the moment you can change it to just the model color but you can press the diffuse button here and change the color to whatever color you want so let's give it a kind of reddish kind of it's a dark red mess around with the colors a bit like that give it a nice darkish kind of red like that so we've got a dark red and also you want to make it a bit shiny so you go to the specular level here amp that up right to the top and 
the glossiness bring that down no bring that down like that so you've got the little bips coming out like that so we've got that coming on like so that's okay so you got a little bit of shine not too much just a bit of shine on the on the on the um the text so you can close that now but what you need to do is um also if you want it to look great and stuff what you're gonna have to do is put a plane on it so go back to your standard primitives click plane draw out a plane like that i don't know why it's coming out with all these random colors i don't like these random colors let me click this button here and change these colors i want maybe a, just a black color for now okay i'm going to change the size of this modify length width let's make them up like that now press the m button again we want to change this to a maybe we can actually leave it as gray like that leave it as gray but what we're going to do with this one now is um we're going to make make the plane which is the floor we're going to make the plane reflect the, against the grain so on the bottom of it you'll see against the grain nice and reflective so to do that go to maps which is at the bottom here click it go to reflection then where it says none click none it should open up what's going on here you look for ray trace so you open up the maps there and look for ray trace scroll down there's ray trace there click ray trace and it goes down one level but go back up so you click this button here to go to parent go back to a thing um to reflection but the reflection here at the moment is at 100 that's way too high so we want to just uh maybe uh 11 12 13 something like that so we have a about a 12 reflection um yeah I think we've done a reflection on the wrong one actually we've done it on we, we've done it on the actual the text instead of the plane so let's click the plane again go to maps reflection might as well change it to 11 already click none ray trace go to parent so that's that that's done so we've got that there and this realistic doesn't really help because it's not really looking good but now to get those reflections and stuff we're gonna have to add lights so we'll go to the light section which is um if you go to lights the first button then is lights go to lights what we can use in this light here would use um standard lights which is if you scroll down here standard lights and then you can press the omni lights here press the omni light and then what we'll do is go to alt w because we want the front frame here the front viewport and just click a light at the top here maybe here but as you can see it's quite a far away away from this um subject so you can right click it and move it see what happens move it this way um i think we just got two lights there got like that and um go back to realistic right click realistic now you can see the difference in the lighting let's move this light here and then move it go to the top view here move it forward about there and then we'll clone that light by pressing down the shift and then making the thing move again it'll ask you 
a copy yes a copy is fine so let's get another light maybe let's move it here and move it maybe down a bit yeah like that we can move it down a bit like that but move it to the right or the left move it to the left a bit so all of them are nice like that and what it seems to be a bit bright as you can see it's a bit bright so just um click one of the lights which is on there now go to modify go down to the general parameters and go to the intensity the multiplier is at one which is a bit too high for us. So let's just bring it down a couple of notches like that. And you can do that with the same, you can do that same with the the other one. So you select the other one, the other light and bring that down a bit as well. But as you notice, if we go up a bit, shadows are not on. So click shadow on. Now, I'm going to press Alt W again so we can see um, the perspective view. As you can see, the the um, you can see the shading is coming on. Uh, that was with this light here. You can see the shading is on. We can click this light here as well and click the shading and make that one on as well, like that. As you can see, but what? also we would like to do is um change the shadow map to ray chase shadows change it to ray trace shadows uh do that with this one as well like that now you've got some decent looking shadows on your subject and that's just a quick way of setting up some lights and setting up a um some text in 3D with a plane. So what we're going to do now is render it and see what it looks like. Click the render bu button up here, which says render production. Uh, what's this shadow generator advanced unsupported? Right, no problem. Clear that. Right, you can see that it's actually traced the shadows and also you can see part of the um, the reflection in the in the um the plane but we just got an error message so let's check out why it gave us the error message so we're going to render in render setup uh scroll down where it's common and then see where it says assign renderer and see what it says there um mental ray mental ray yeah that seems to be fine um, even though it did give us an error message, it did render. So I'll check that out later anyway. And if there's a problem, I'll let you know. But that's what you need to do now. In the next tutorial, what we'll do, we'll actually animate the lights and make it come in and put some cameras in it as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learned something. And I would appreciate if you can subscribe, rate and comment. And um, I'll see you next time.